Hi everyone. How are you doing today? I can barely contain my excitement. Picture this. I'm in Target doing some regular grocery shopping and I just have to go down the Lego aisle like I just have to go down the book aisle just to browse, just to see what's there maybe there's a sale I don't know about when my eye catches the Animal Crossing logo in the Lego aisle I had no idea there was Animal Crossing logo Lego. Now I'm confused. Oh my god. Start over. I had no idea there was Animal Crossing Lego. And I immediately was like, how do I get this but not get this? Because I don't know that I need more Lego. I feel like I have, you know, multiple sets I've gotten to do with you guys already, and I feel so lucky. What else do I need though? So, look what came home with me. It's Animal Crossing Isabel's house visit. And look, <laughs> there's Isabel. And here's Isabel again in a minifig. Oh my gosh. So obviously I got it. And this is the video of me building it with you. I I've been so excited. Um why did none of you tell me there was Animal Crossing Lego? I didn't know. There weren't as many sets as I would have liked, and I didn't love all of the sets. Um, this was my favorite tied with another one that I also kind of want, but I didn't get. I just got this one. So we're gonna build it. It's pretty small compared to some of the other sets, so um, this won't be as long as of a video. But it, it's just so cute. Okay, let's uh, jump to our close-up top-down view and let's unbox this thing. All right, are you ready to build some Animal Crossing Lego with me today? I cannot tell you how excited I've been to put this together ever since I, I got it. I cannot wait. But before we do, I want to show you something totally different. I made something this morning, or I finished it this morning, and I'm just gonna wait to show you. I made a little Easter bunny. I can kind of see that it's a bunny from the side profile. It's a little poof tail, cotton tail, like little ears that you can kind of like bend down. Eyes are kind of crooked, I guess, but it's just like a really cute, soft little bunny rabbit, and I got the pattern from Sweet Softies. I'm just fully in like a spring mood, and I wanted to make a little spring Easter bunny. Isn't it cute? And this is like the softest yarn ever. I think it's Bernat Velvet Plus. I need to show you my little Easter bunny because I adore. <laughs> I adore. Oh, and I should say that their name is Billy. B I L L I E. Billy Bunny. Okay, let's get the actual set out, shall we?
my camera's like zooms in so much so can't get a good shot of like the full box but you saw me holding it so that's good enough so this is the lego animal crossing isabel's house visit kit so it's got a home that we're gonna build this is like the very classical classic animal crossing style home the red round doors classic we have two characters i think she's fauna and this is of course isabel we also have a very traditional apple tree and the cool thing about this set is just like the houses in animal crossing it's customizable so we could swap out these square windows for these round ones. I love that. So they're really cute fun details like the flowers and the gardening and the post box. Isabel has other names. Isabel, Marie, Canela, Fauna, or Pipi. style so that we can see inside and I'm just super super excited I'm already trying to figure out which windows I want to do I don't know okay so what's the best way to open this they, they show the open here I'm gonna need to edit this video to be nice and quiet for ASMR. not planning to do another Animal Crossing video or Animal I fully was not planning to do another Lego video for ages like I had no set plans on buying more Lego at all <laughs> honestly until I saw this and then all patience went out the window and I was like yeah I'm probably not leaving without this in my car There's bag number two. Here's bag number three. Here's bag number six. This is the smallest set I've done so far. Um, I'm gonna actually just move them all aside because I haven't gotten to bag one yet. I 
can see a loose piece, just a flat, like a Lego chocolate bar. <laughs> and I'm gonna guess that this is what our house goes on. I'll leave it out, if you like. It's something we're gonna need. And this must be bag number one. And this one has the minifigs in it. I can't wait. I seriously cannot wait. And of course, here is our big. Quite chunky booklet. We're gonna need to take a closer look at that. If you had a frame for it, it'd be nice and clear. Okay. And guys, I'm gonna say right now, from a completely selfish perspective, I really need you guys to like this video and like leave a comment and then watch it, you know, whatever helps this video succeed because if this video does well and I like, you know, it gets decent views, then I'll feel justified to buy another set. <laughs> Which I really want. Which I would of course do on camera with you guys. So I'm letting you know right now, if you like not only Lego, but Animal Crossing and Animal Crossing Lego, and you like this video, you want to see something similar, watching this video, like the whole thing, and engaging in some way, whether that's liking or commenting, will seriously help the video succeed, and then if it's good enough, then like, I can justify. I want them to make more though. It's not enough. Why did no one tell me that they did this? Why did none of you tell me? Not one of you. Interesting, there's no like, um, I just kind of figured it would say something about Animal Crossing. It usually it does. Usually it's like, First things first. Oh my gosh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't get my little scissors. I do have a and I wonder if it'll work. I have a little like thread ripper. That should work, right? That I use when I'm um crocheting and stuff. Like I use it to put my seams. Okay. It's on a seam ripper. I don't know why I said that. that my my nails aren't as nice and long as they usually are. I've been keeping them kind of short lately. Okay. <laughs> These are Isabel's legs. So legs and then this is her skirt. I've never made a mini fig before. Skirt and then her top. It's kind of haunting like this, you know, like all stretched out. And then her head, it's quite easy, isn't it? Let's put her together totally. Oh, she snapped on. 
I'm obsessed with this. Hi everybody. It's me, Isabel. <laughs> that was my impression of animalese, which is the language. I don't know if you know what they speak. I think it's called animalese. I remember that in Animal Crossing, like, City Folk, which was my first Animal Crossing game, you could change the language they spoke, and they could either speak like that, or they could speak in like, you know, like, kind of like a, a bleeping, beeping kind of noise. And, um, that's how I found out it was called Animalese. Okay, and then she gets a... She gets a flower in her hair. There's like a little spot right there. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to like show her and then she's down there. You know, that is so cute. And of course you can move her little legs. Do a split, Isabel. <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out anymore about how adorable I find Isabel. Let's turn the page. Okay. Um, we're rearranging everything. I'm gonna get this piece out. And I'm gonna get this green piece out and it just is kind of going in like that. Sorry, my chair is so creaky. I don't like sitting in it when I film because it makes quite a lot of noise, which is annoying. Uh, and then I think we're making a garden. That goes in the middle. The fence sits behind it, like that. So freaking cute. And then we make a carrot. <laughs> there is a song I used to sing growing up. And it goes like, pull the carrot. And this is the opposite of pulling the carrot. This is putting the carrot back in. <laughs> okay, well I just dropped it. Does it really stick out that much? It feels weird, doesn't it? We make that. And then we make a teeny, teeny, tiny little pumpkin. Teeny, 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 tiny. And that one goes down much further. So now we have a teeny tiny carrot and a teeny tiny pumpkin and they go in our little garden like so. Just like this. And you know, I don't think it matters which one we put, but And the last finishing touch is our little watering can, which is going to sit next to it so that we can get everything watered. I love it. They have it on this one, which makes more sense, so it's not like right next to... Do you even know how hard it is not to squeal? Also, this is such a fun, tiny detail. I just really like how Isabel is like walking. She's showing you the progression. It's just such a cute detail. 
I do think we're wasting like loads of room. This huge page, <laughs> right? Like, did it really need to be that small on the page? Okay. Um, this piece with this piece, and it goes on like one half. Okay, like that. And then another one on the other side. And then we put this one on the other side so that it's like that. And this piece goes on top. What is this? What are we making? And then two single pieces. Uh, four all together, actually, because we have one. And then. Should we do a zoom in? Let's get a zoom in. Hold on. Okay. There's one. And sorry if it just nudged the mic. There's two. And this is like our little um, gardening bench. And then oh, we top it off with this piece on top to kind of give it a nice and even topping. Look at that. Every single thing I've made has just been so cute. So, so cute. Oh, I didn't even see what this is. They are seeds and they have the little I can't. Oh my gosh, you can probably see how dry my hands are. Yes, I need to moisturize. I've been running out of this nice hand cream that I use every night. I usually put hand cream on before I go to bed. And I've been running out. So I've been trying to make it last. But here's the really silly thing. I have more. That's what's really ridiculous about it. It's like, I'm not moisturizing my hands because I'm like holding out trying to use every last drop when I literally have more. It's not good of me, I know. Okay, and then we basically put um, the tools uh, in it. So we have... Oh my gosh. This is the actual Animal Crossing, uh, the slingshot that you use to get balloons when the balloons go over it. Come on, focus, guys, come on. Come on. You see it? And so it's gonna go in and it's gonna like hold on to it. And I love that with all my heart. hammer and we have this little shovel and that's our little completed gardening craft bench and that's it for this bag we did have some extras we have um, a couple of extra flowers we have this extra 
green shoot and we have an extra slingshot quite a lot of extras I am going to put them in my handy dandy panda coaster that I made I either use it to actually as a coaster like and I put my coffee in, in it or I use it to hold on to like little doodads like that which is really useful so thank you panda I'm gonna put you over here and it's time to open bag number two so let me put my garden up here Isabel, you stay as always. We need you for your moral support. And there goes our little gardening cabinet. This is like an adorable crossover between like the miniature garden that I made, which was like paper and cardboard and stuff like that, and Lego. Okay, get back to out, and we need that. Oh, look, this falling out. Back to. just have a super duper chaotic pile of lego down here we're gonna make our friend fauna now add into her um, potty and this is like a little basket that we're gonna need as well um, and where are your legs girl oh here they are they're blending in okay so Struggling today, my friend. And here's our friend Fauna, aka BB. I think BB's cute. And she can hold this little basket, which is like rubbery. It's like really squishy. I don't actually know if she's supposed to hold it or not. Do your hands rotate? Like, yeah. And let's get our friends together. Oh look, we can both hold on to the basket together. Teamwork, teamwork. Okay, Fauna, you go up there with Isabel. We're now gonna work on building the house, which I'm incredibly, incredibly excited about. Go Isabel, go Isabel. So we get our ginormous piece out and we get a couple of pieces that are flat There's one and this must be the other and they sit in these recessed portions some shelves. I think I talked about this recently. Um, I haven't put them up yet because, as we've established, I'm lazy. But 
but I think that this would be really cute to put on the shelves. Like, I already have my little Lego succulents, which are definitely going to go up there, but this house is pretty thin. Like, it's not too deep. I think it would fit perfectly on my shelves. I'm probably going to make it a this weekend project for sure. Um, today's Thursday. I know I post this on a Saturday, but today is Thursday and I will be uh, filming and editing this over the course of the next couple days. And then after that, hopefully I can get it up. Okay, and then we take this piece and that piece and they go under like this. Oh, they're really struggling. Now this kit, this is actually like the first Lego kit I've ever had that didn't give me a tool, you know, one of those tools to like undo stuff. But fortunately, literally every other one has. So I've got like four of those at this point. Um, not that I see myself needing to use them. I still really haven't used it, but it's nice to know that I have it in case I gravely mess up. But like I said, this kit is pretty, like, simple in a way that, like, it'd be very easy to undo these. This one, this might be a struggle if I wanted to take it out, but, like, why would I? Okay, set that aside. And I'm taking this big piece. And I'm just gonna make it, like, a tad brighter over here. Well, it's kind of hard to read the instructions uh, on camera, but I can read them, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, sorry, this piece. And... I think I have to open this bag now. this piece in the middle between the two and the whole thing goes on the side oh slots in right there that is just so cute and see so we're making like the blueprint of our home the lego architecture kits are actually something i really want to do again because obviously i love homes so, building a Lego home is like, oh, right up my alley. Okay, then we're doing something similar, but with more of a green grass look. Basically the exact same thing. Green here, green there, green everywhere. And that one goes on the other side. Just like that. Boop, 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 boop. Go, Isabel. Oh, we're starting to build the house. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So we take the bricks, and they're actual like brick looking pieces. Do you see that? So we put um, two, two long and one short, like this, okay, one here, um, let's do the middle one next, okay, 
and then we need sorry about my ring light another short piece this is like building in Minecraft this is amazing I've never I've obviously never built a Lego home before someone that didn't grow up with Lego you know I, I um, never got to do this I think I would have loved it though oh we're putting in the doorway now that is really exciting and the doorway is here so the doorway goes in like that like a flat piece that goes in then a one of these okay so this white block goes in the corner and then this is like a doorstep I don't know it's like right in the threshold okay and the same thing kind of on the other side a white block here and a grey brick block in front so now you can kind of see our home blueprint kind of coming together a little bit she's about halfway through this first page which must mean that we're about 25% through roughly okay and then we do similar over here long block short block and then we are going to do a slightly different shape so we're gonna go long block here and one more long block going down this way and one more short block in between making sure to get the brick side out although it does slightly bother me that around the corners it doesn't look like brick, you know but it's okay, it's meant to look that way so it's not like we're doing anything wrong here now this piece and this piece going on top that was our foundation and now we're building oops more of the actual walls I am um, I did something and this piece came flying off that's what I get for not securing it and we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side with a little block on the corner and this here making sure to secure it this time okay then we're like doing fancy stuff so I need this piece and we're doing like four of these two of these we're doing two of these so it goes like this this in the middle and then put gray on either side and top it with another long skinny piece some loud snaps but then we get this stripey look we do that twice so here comes the second one okay we have two of those and they are gonna go here and here with the piece sticking out 
not go snug in the corner. I think I missed a step. Yeah, I was supposed to put one in this corner. I did not do that, which means that this now goes like this, leaving a space. Space there. Okay. And then on the side, we're going to do another single piece next to it, and then two doubles. So, double, double, toil, and trouble. <laughs> Here we go. And, oh, okay, we're using these little slopey pieces on the corners, like that. Slopey piece number one, and slopey piece number two. Then over here, we're, we're using these big blocks, so we stack these with two on top, so like one, two, and then another one, one, two, and these pillars go right inside here. are not connected as well as they should be. Okay, I think I got it more secure. Fingers crossed. These pieces came popping up. It's very important that you secure everything as you do it, I guess. Otherwise, it can all come apart. But that looks good. Pretty sure we've done it right. Not this point. Let's turn the page. And now we're using these pieces on. Um, so they go on top of these, and they're gonna go in there. Okay, so now there's one, and here's two outside of these white pillars. Just turn it around because there was like a slight blemish on it, so I just thought it'd be best if it faced the other direction. There we go. And instruction on this page is literally just and one white block right there. <laughs> Not super helpful. Alright, then it's stack. Stack a couple of these on top of each other and put them here. And take one and put it down 
here and take another one and put it in here long piece and put it here across the whole length of that and take a short piece and put it like that then take two stack them on top of each other and put them Our walls are coming together slowly but surely and I love it so much okay now we use these pieces and they're gonna form like our window cells Here's one, and here's another one. I could not love this more, you guys. I really couldn't. Something about like little house dioramas, um, miniatures, you know, it's just always really spoken to me. Okay, and then on this side here, we're just doing two, two, one. So like the one going over here and then a two and a two next to it. Making sure, like I said, to really secure them. I've learned working on this wall. This one goes in here, but then this odd piece is gonna go next to it. And then a little single guy right next to that. Sorry, nudged at the camera. And um, on the other side, we're simply gonna put a long piece all the way across with a single piece on the outside. And so our walls are really coming together, what do you think? Again, trying very hard not to squeal because this is an ASMR video and I'm not gonna scream. <laughs> but just know that if I could, I would be screaming. <laughs> I'll probably need to scream into a pillow when I'm done with this because <laughs> I love it so much. And then the last, well, not last, there's actually another one another long piece going on top of the window actually so this one goes here and then that one goes across the whole thing our house is just so cute you guys and Isabel's gonna come over I feel like we're building Fauna's home uh, and Isabel either comes over because you know she's like basically the mayor like resident services whatever she is or maybe if I got another bed then they could live here together it's just not a huge home 
let's be real, the square footage is not big enough for two. <laughs> it is open concept though, so... <laughs> oh, we're doing like a little plant thing over here, so... Um, put this on, and then over it, this teeny teeny tiny little green flower thingy. And it's just gonna kind of like hang on the side. <laughs> How freaking cute is that, everyone? How adorable is that? <gasps> and that's it for. <laughs> I'm so confused because uh, we did not use either one of these. So now I am deeply confused. What is this? What are these? <laughs> what are these and why did we not use them? <laughs> okay, well you know where they're going. They're going in the panda. Along with the other little doodads that we didn't end up using. And it says to now open up bag number three. So let's get out bag number three. This is like, this is the door, we attach it so that it swings on, you guys, and then the thing I just dropped was actually the doorknob. that's gonna go on the door in the doorway there we go so it's gonna sit okay right right front just like that there's really a very very It's me. <laughs> and maybe it's you too. If you, if you also happen to be right in that niche zone of loves Animal Crossing and loves Lego, I don't think it's that niche to be honest, but please tell me. And maybe go run out to Target and get this. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I have only seen it at Target. I did look up online when I saw it because I was like, where else do you sell this? Is there more? You know, tell me everything about it. Literally everything. When are you making more sets? Hopefully, me promoting this set will encourage other people to get it, maybe, and then they'll be like, yeah, this is popular. We need to do more of this. Wishful thinking, really. Okay. This one goes there, and then we're gonna line that up. So. And then Thank you. 
these um, sloped pieces and one square piece and they're just gonna go like this, we're making like a rooftop so that one, square in the middle sloped on the end We're actually like actually building it. Okay, so we take two more slow pieces. I'm just gonna put them together like that. There we go. I like how it, there's just like a subtle light. Sorry, that was a weird noise. You know, it's not perfectly smooth. Like that. And then there's like teeny tiny sloped pieces. There's one, and here's the other, and we put them on top for the finishing touches. Probably, I'm driving you crazy with the amount of times I've said, so cute. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit driving myself crazy with it, so I know you must be annoyed. Okay. So I'm going to take this flat piece, and it goes here. Okay. Then... This one goes on the inside and a flat piece on the... Did I say outside or inside? I don't know. You see what I'm doing. I always like to narrate what I'm doing. I don't know. It's just how I am. But then the problem is that I do struggle to like multitask in a way, you know? So I do kind of lose track of like what I am saying. That was it for that one. Over here, we're taking that big piece and we're putting this like that. And then doing it again. <laughs> and taking this sloped piece and putting it in front. And then where are you going? Where are you going? We're still going. Alright, then I might as well set the house aside for just a second while we do that. Okay, then we continue and we put this piece on top with another sloped piece. And brick pieces. One here and one there. And then two little slope pieces here. This is a chimney we're building. Kind of getting chimney vibes. Where is... I'm missing a piece. Did it fall? Dear, I am missing a piece. Whew, I checked the bag and it was still in the bag. I wonder if any of you caught that and were like, no. <laughs> She's gonna be needing that later. If that was you, props, seriously, because you've got better eyes than me. Well, it's not really a brag. My eyes are not great. I do wear glasses, and I have since I was five years old. <laughs> Most people have better eyesight than me. Okay, and now we're doing, um, we're continuing our, like, 
chimney, which definitely seems to be what we're doing here. Chimney. Then the round bit goes on top. And oh my gosh, you guys, we're doing smoke. That's what this is. That is so, so cute. So you take this, you put this on it. Put that on it and slide that in. Well, it, that isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. I don't know what is. So then we get the house back. Come on back. And it goes. get a side view. I do think I want it to like tilt like that. That's amazing. And um, meanwhile, back over here, we are putting this piece. Oh, hold on. Okay, we're putting you across here. Inside and outside, like that. Oh, Isabel's on the next page. And then, oh, these are extras, so into the panda they go. We now decide if we want to do square windows. I think I'm gonna have to go with the round windows. I feel like they match the house. I don't know. I just really like the round windows. Um, but what's so awesome is that we can just so easily switch it out. Like if they make it so, so easy to change those windows out. I r oops, sorry. <laughs> I thought that it was gonna be way more complicated in terms of the logistics of changing out the windows, but this was a breeze. Alright. Then I will keep these windows in a safe spot. That spot right now is the panda. <laughs> and when I, you know, just feel like, let's shake our house up a little bit, I'll swap it out for the square windows. We can do that. We can, we can live in whatever world we want here. Okay, um, I need to get a back four now. Number four. This time making sure that all the pieces have come out of the back. And this should be our roof. As always, I've bumped the camera a million times today. It's just impossible. It's like on an on a tripod between me and the desk. So like it's like right in front of me, like right up on me. Um, okay, long piece and this, like a flat piece right in the middle. Do I need the house right now? Can you go over there? I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't think I did that right. It's definitely supposed to be like that, <laughs> so that you then put them both together like that. Okay, and then you did the same thing on the other end. Okay, and then 
these two pieces. Get that? Are they secure? Okay. Things are secure. And then, okay, we're doing some interesting things here. And I need to open the little bag. take the round shapes and the flat shapes and put them together so it's gonna go like flat shape round shape flat shape round I say round shape but it's like a half moon shape isn't it and then another chocolate bar. I can't not think of these as chocolate bars. And it's crazy so I don't even like chocolate bars. I don't. I don't like chocolate. I will eat chocolate from time to time, but I have never in my life craved chocolate. But as crazy as I do have a big sweet tooth. So like, have you ever met someone with a big sweet tooth that like hated chocolate? It's such a weird, um, conundrum. Like, I'm a weird person. <laughs> I love vanilla flavored things and I love fruit flavored things. But I'm just like, just a sucker for vanilla. <laughs> Give me a good vanilla any day. <laughs> Alright, then there's these little quad, little pie pieces. And they go little one right here and um, then two of these guys one two what are they gonna be holding on to that's what I always wonder and another one of these quarter pieces right in the corner it's all good so far. Then we take this, it looks like a phone, like an old phone, or a bridge, <laughs> whatever, and wrap that to sit on top, like so. Then we do more flat uh, round, and also put a Square. Um, let's do the round one first because I feel like I might struggle to get it in there if not. And there's at the beginning of like our uh, roof shingles. Isn't that adorable? So now we do it on top. Okay, so for like a 3D. Very clever. Very, very clever. And I love that it's the classic Animal Crossing style home. Like there's just a there's just a look. Like in um the newest game, they obviously let you customize your own like so much. So it can end up looking pretty different, but there is still the OG Animal Crossing home. My camera battery is about to die. Which is not so great. Um, oh, do it again. And make sure that my battery doesn't die, because we're definitely not done. But I have a, I have a fix if it dies, so don't worry. And it's not charged the battery. <laughs> okay. This should be, like, our roof tiles. Let me stop, sort out my battery, and then we'll continue. 
Okay, I've just put in my dummy battery. I have a dummy battery. It's basically like a little bit of plastic that sits in where the battery is, and then it has a little wire that just plugs into the wall. <laughs> so I'm basically like powering my camera through the wall. And, um, and that is what I use, uh, 98% of the time when I'm using my camera to ensure that I never run out of battery. I don't know why I was using my- oh yeah, I was taking some photos yesterday. I had to take a couple of pictures, so I had to take my camera out of here, you know, and so I needed the actual battery. So I had charged it up a bit, but it wasn't fully, fully charged, and then we ran through the rest of that charge over the last hour. Okay. And we're doing more. We're taking this, and we're putting it on top. And we're taking this white piece, and resting it in the middle. And we're getting the cat hair off because it's everywhere. I had to crawl around on the floor to get my dummy battery and I really need to vacuum in my office. It's covered with hair. I need to vacuum my office realistically like every two days and I only do it on like a weekly basis. Every animal I own, which is all three of them, my pets love my office. It's cozy. Uh, I'm in here and they love me. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of soft things, like for the cats to lie on, but Leia just likes to lie near me, so the carpet is just constantly covered in hair. So, I'm now covered in hair because I was just crawling around on the floor. <laughs> I really don't like having carpet. Um, if I could have afforded it, I probably would have, like, ripped this up when I bought the house. I would love to put in, like, I don't know, like, it doesn't even have to be expensive, I guess it could be like a cheap, like, uh, LVP or something in here, something that looks like wood, but maybe isn't wood. <laughs> I'm too, like, traumatized by wood because growing up, um, my parents' home had hardwood, and my dad was so particular about it, you know, he was like, don't do this on the floor, don't do that on the floor, never get the floor wet, <laughs> like, if it gets wet, we have to clean it immediately, and I'm sure it's like, this was, he was probably a little bit more extreme than you need to be, but, like, for example, salt water, salt water can never touch, like, I was like, I remember coming back from, like, the beach some days, and he's like, don't let anything wet touch the ground, no salt water on the ground. Gee, why do I have anxiety? <laughs> I love my dad with all my heart, but he did not help with, yeah, not developing anxiety. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Okay, and it goes sitting this way. I have no idea what we're making right now. This has to be some part of the roof. But I, I don't know. And then this bit sits in front of it. And, um... Got one here, and one here. It's such a relief to have put in my dummy battery, not gonna lie. The entire time I've been sitting here like, oh my gosh, when is my battery gonna die? How much longer can I film for? But like, now, I can take it easy. Not like I wasn't taking it easy before. I was very relaxed and taking my time, not trying to rush anything. Okay, we've made this thing. And now we put these little, wait, no, <laughs> we haven't done step 66. Execute order 66. Thinking about making more of those little bunnies and giving them to my friends. 
for Easter. I don't celebrate Easter. I haven't since I was a kid. And even then, celebrating Easter was like, my mom bought me some candy <laughs> and hid Easter egg, uh, Easter eggs around the house. <laughs> so, I just like the spirit of bunnies and, uh, eggs. <laughs> Painting and dyeing eggs is really fun, I think, and I got really into that. I was an artistic kid, so it was always fun. And um, me and my mom would find like new techniques and try something different out every year. And it's one of those things where I'm like, would I like ideally to paint eggs again? Yeah, but do I feel like I should? Because it feels like just a waste of eggs if I'm doing it. I would never feel that way if I had kids. But I don't have kids. So. One, two, and then these three go like that. And then I do the same thing on this one. And then they're gonna like lay flat. Oh, and I'm excited. Another thing I'm doing this weekend is, um, I'm gonna go see Dune 2 again. Dune 2, it was so good. I really love it so much. Um, and one of my best friends adores the Dune series. Like, I think she liked the old films, even. I have never seen them. Is that how it's supposed to go? It's like... It's just not lying... Flat, you know? Is it supposed to? I can't really imagine how else I would do it. So it must be like this. <laughs> okay. And that goes into this. Oh, fascinating. Not what I was expecting. Um, so she loves Dune with all her heart, but she hasn't seen Dune 2 yet. She's been... Uh, oh, I see. That's what we get to do. She was, um busy with someone and then she went on a trip and so I'm taking her to see it this weekend and I cannot be more excited not only to see her reaction to it but I just haven't been able to wait like I've been so freaking excited to see it okay and then here we go me knowing exactly what's going to happen, it's still just so exciting to see it happen. What the heck? Why is this the cutest thing I've ever seen? You can technically open it up more too, or you could put it back on. I love this. I really, really, really cannot express to you all how much I love this. You know, I tried to tell myself I didn't need it. <laughs> like, I, I was fully prepared to leave Target without it. Well, I, I wanted it, let's be real, but I'm, I'm an adult that's a, um, a frugal person, really. And, um, so I was like, do I need Lego? No. like, am 
my second Lego videos, like the last one I made and the one before that, they didn't get as many views as the first one, so I was like, you know, should I even bother? And my partner, sweetest person in the world, is like, Allison, I'm gonna get you this. Like, if you don't get it, I'm gonna put it in this cart and I'm making sure you leave with this today. Because <laughs> he said I deserved it. <laughs> Which I thought was so sweet. So, thank him. He insisted that I get it. And I have to point out something I've just seen, guys. Look at this. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, camera. Put your heart into it. It's KK Slider on his guitar. With the fruit trees in the- or maybe the trees were good trees. With trees in the background. I'm sorry. I'm really losing it. And also, also... so tiny. Um, okay, so we are adding, whoops, I kind of can't grab it from the roof. We're adding details to this front bit here with, um, this and these two. This one goes down the middle. And then these two go like that. Did I do a good job? Is that okay? <laughs> I'm unclear how best to do this. around with it. We're gonna turn it around and we're gonna hang the KK Slider discography. <laughs> it looks like a vinyl. We're gonna put it in here. Ooh. No, that was not a good positioning. Hang it a little lower. Because we are KK stands in this household. the ASMR rendition of Bubble Gum KK. Thank you guys so much for your support. Okay, we're making a bed now. This really feels like Minecraft. Um, I've got my sheep wool and I'm making my bed. And it really looks like this. Oh my god, do I need the Minecraft Lego now? I just become full on shill for Lego. Yes. Sponsor me, Lego. <laughs> and then this is like the pillow. Oh my god, if Lego sponsored me, that would be amazing. It's the dream. And then we're gonna make like a little quilted checker. Um, 
or checkered quilt. <laughs> Maybe it said that the other way around. Okay, so we're gonna go like pink, green, <laughs> I can't speak, yellow, green, yellow, pink for the first one. out of focus. Sorry, don't know how long it's been like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Last one. Then we're gonna like kind of raise it up by giving it a bit of a platform. Oh dear, that just rolled right off the desk. <laughs> Are we gonna need it? Absolutely. But am I gonna get it right now? No. It's big enough that I like see it. Oh my gosh. The bed. The bed, you guys. Okay. Um, this sits on top of that. And where is that piece? What is that piece? Oh, it's clear. It's hard to show something being translucent. I think in this, they're they're doing it by showing translucency at the bottom, but obviously they can't show it in the top bit. So that's kind of confusing, but. Um, it is the only thing this shape, so we were able to get that. And then this piece goes here. And then we put the Nook phone on it. It's like a phone stand. You're just resting on a little phone. Then what do we do? And this is a clock. This is a clock. That's cute. There's a clock face somewhere in here. It must be this. No. Why is this so cute? I mean, it could be really whatever time we wanted it to. <laughs> Within 25 degrees. <laughs> or 25 degrees? What? Is it 25 degrees? I can't, I really can't multitask. I can't think while I'm doing this. 45 degrees, right? <laughs> and it sits on top. There's a clock. I don't remember there being a clock that looked like this that was transparent in the middle. I have no idea what piece of furniture this is. Come to think of it, where's Froggy Chair? Is it safe? Is it alright? Where's Froggy Chair? Maybe it's meant to- oh, it's probably meant to be like This is on the wall and this is on the floor And they're not like one piece? Okay, that's probably the case 
I'm making a plant now. So we're gonna stack some leaves. This feels very familiar. This feels very much like what I would do with my with my like Lego succulents and all that, you know? I just flung that off. I might as well get the other piece of drop while I'm at it. Okay. <laughs> Let me try that again. Then another green piece. Haha, <laughs> green piece. And that's our little plant. And then we're making an oven. I think it's an oven. I think it's an oven. So it sits on this. And then there's like a stove. Um, how on earth do I... There. There's a little translucent uh, stove door, oven door, that I have to attach. There. And inside, we're gonna put a pan with a waffle on it. We're making waffles. That's so cute. And it's just gonna go in there. Like, it's just, it's not, it's just resting in there, genuinely. Then this is, like, the stove top. And we have a little pan. Which is so freaking cute. And we can probably put another waffle in the pan if we wanted, you know. And then, what is this that we're making? A sink, I think? I love making these little household objects. I love it so much. Okay. This piece, and then this block, and there's a little spigot that we're just gonna put on just like that. There's our little sink, and if you missed it, Here's our little stove. Can open up. There's a pan of waffles in there. Okay, we're getting this out and we're putting food on it. This must be a table. We're basically setting up like a tea party. Wait, that's not a waffle. There's more than one food thing. There's like waffles, cookies, and donuts. Oh, delicious. So we're gonna do cookies and donuts here. And there's a teapot. Oh my gosh, there's a teapot. And little tiny, tiny teacups for our tea party. goes on this really weirdly pre-made thing. And that's our little table. I have a feeling we're gonna be left with like leftover food, so I'll probably end up putting it on the table as well. Just as much food as possible, why not, you know? Okay, here's where I need the thing that I knocked over. So you do this and you do this and then it doesn't tell you what you do next. Okay. And then you do uh, you do this. I 
think we're making a book. I think this is a book. A tiny, tiny little book. It's teeny. And now, oh, those were chairs. So now I'm going to just like put that aside because this is the part where we assemble and we assemble to our heart's content. We just do whatever, whatever dream we have, you know? Personally, I see this as being the bedroom. It's, it's, it's bedroomy and that's a perfect fit. So I think I'm going to put the bed. And then this is kitchen, for sure. And I think that would be perfect. Right there. Like, look at that. That's perfect. And it does look like it's on the wall. Then over here, maybe I'll put the sink in the corner. I can't even see. Sorry. The sink in the corner and the oven next to it and let's put the table here in like the middle. I don't know how to get it to stay. How do I do this? I genuinely don't know. one chair down and now I can't get the other chair in and I can't get that out as well. And the plant. I forgot about the plant. I'll stick it in the corner. Like that. It would be better in that corner, wouldn't it? And the book is open on the bed. garden in and all that, but I'm going to leave it here. This is my Animal Crossing house. Is it not like the cutest thing you've ever seen? View from the front again. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me put them on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did putting it together. And don't forget that if you did really like this and you would like to see me do another similar Animal Crossing Lego build, then please tell me in the comments and give the video a like. And then hopefully, I can get another because I do my FYI on one, but it's bigger, so it'll probably be a longer video. And uh, if you like this but you haven't seen my other Lego videos, please be sure to view them, they're in a playlist. You can watch me make some beautiful. Lego botanical collections. I thought I would show you guys 
how perfectly it all sits on this shelf I have. Now, I don't know that, um, if I... I don't know if I put it on this shelf or a bigger shelf. I have, like, different size shelves. Um, but it does fit, like, absolutely perfectly on this little shelf. Although the downside is that you can't see inside the cute little home. So, apologies that I did run out of room on my uh, SD card, so you didn't see me make the rest of it. There wasn't a lot else to do. I basically just made this bit. There's like a little pond. Well, I made this tree, and it's an apple tree, and it's very clever. Each set seems to come with a different fruit tree, so you have to collect them all to get all the trees. So cheeky. And this is my favorite bit. There's a fossil spot down there. Can you kind of see it right here by my thumb? There's bells. I just kind of stuck one in the pond for no reason. And this is hilarious. The present, you can kind of open it like that. And inside there's paint and a paintbrush for some reason. I don't really know why. Don't know what that's about. But it looks like it's flying above the tree. And the most random but adorable detail is that inside this tree, there is a bell. Not Isabel. There's a tiny little bell coin. Just like in the real game, you shake the trees and money falls, or you, um, you could also hit it and the money fall. There's money hidden inside this tree. That's just so cute. So I put that together, and you can kind of mix and match, you know, they could go wherever. And then I, um, made the mailbox, and there's mail in the mailbox. So you can close it up or not. I built these little flowers and then I just kind of, um, I put in another fossil spot down here and I had Fauna sitting in her little gardening area. Um, that's basically it. I can shut the door. you guys had fun along for the ride. I know this is a very different kind of Lego set that I personally really, really liked. Um, I just loved getting to build a little house and, oh, and I figured out what the little, it looked like a party hat to me, the little conical thing earlier that I was so confused by. I missed the bit where it's supposed to go on Fauna's head. It's her little party hat. I was unaware she wore that. I'm really not familiar with Fauna as a character for some reason. I really am not. Um, so that's hers. She wears that. And uh, there's just an extra. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, there's lots of other Lego hours for the Lego content if you want to watch that instead. And I have a little playlist that I'll pop this video into with my other LEGO videos. Don't forget, if you want another Animal Crossing LEGO video, please like and comment and subscribe. And maybe I'll get another one out in